I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, if that's Lord Jamal's views, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's his views. But um, since since the beginning of hip hop, you know, you never seen any indication of that. You know what I'm saying? Amongst uh, some of the legendary dudes that started it, um, <clears throat> they never really put that out there or or imposed that in any kind of way. Um, even even when you go back to like pioneers of what uh, of hip hop in general and rap in general, I mean you see Run DMC doing stuff with Beastie Boys right in the beginning. You know what I mean? Then you got you know the producer like Rick Rip, uh, Rick Rubin. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and so on and so on throughout the years, it never been like <clears throat> any type of segregation with any race, culture, or anything when it came to hip hop. Hip hop was always looked at as a universal thing and everybody was always invited into it. You know what I'm saying? The, it's a culture. You know what I'm saying? The culture don't have a face, it don't have a race to it, you know, it don't have a color, it don't have a particular religion or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is why people all around the world <clears throat> is um, part of that hip hop culture, whether they um, Asian, um, cats out in Germany, Italy, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm about to do a European tour in a minute, so I'm, re I'm really about to feel the energy from a lot of people that's like hardcore G-Rap fans that don't necessarily have the same color, um, skin color as I do. You know what I mean? And they just as much as a part of hip-hop as, as, um, as I am in my book. To build on that, I mean, you know, you know, I consider G one of the most influential, the you know, top you know, like there with, you know, KRS, Kane, Rakim, G-Rap. And G-Rap being the one that influenced all the, you know, the real spitters. So now, the way G-Rap feels kind of trumps anybody who says, you know, that comment. You know what I'm saying? Coming from G kind of trumps it now. But to give my opinion, you know, I'll, I'll say, first I'll pay homage. I was a big brand Nubian fan. You know what I'm saying? Like coming up as a kid. I supported them. So I, I used to, you know, be, go through the hood and bump one for all. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, uh, Slow Down was my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that whole record. I, I, that's one of the re uh, tapes that I probably played till it broke. <laughs> and then went to Tower Records and Vic the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and I used to steal man shit from Tower Records. So, um, you know, I got respect for Brand Nubian, you know, but now, the, you know, I'm a street dude, so basically nobody's going to tell me, nobody has ever been able to tell me what I could and can't do. You know what I mean? Like, like, like there's never been a time where I did a show and somebody stepped to me. Like, yo, you a son, you know what I mean? Or, or, or you know, you white or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, like uh, you know, I, I, I've been through the game, you know what I mean? And, and I think if he's going to speak on Macklemore, you know what I mean? And Macklemore with all that fag shit and, you know, making love and with gays and all that. I could understand that because I ain't really with that. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm on some anti-gay shit and all that. I'm just saying, you know, my music. You know what I mean? Hardcore hip-hop dudes don't rap gay shit. Usually it's, it's a natural thing that we call people faggot. You a faggot. That's a way of putting someone down. So I get what he means with that. You know what I mean? Like... From a street perspective, nobody in the fucking hood is cool with some faggot shit and dudes kissing each other and all that. That shit is whack. But, you know, to, to, you can't... My, my problem in hip-hop has been when dudes want to blanket a whole culture, a whole color. You can't... You know what I mean? You, 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 if you're shitting on me, then you're shitting on all the nice white kids. There's a, there's a bunch of us that really get it in. So, you know, like... Be a little bit more clear, you know what I mean? Say, you know, I don't like that Macklemore, Wickwack, Fag shit, and that real live faggot shit that they on, <laughs> but I respect the white kids that come from the hood. I grew up in Glenwood Projects, you know, I went through fucking hell to be in hip-hop, you know what I mean? I paid dues. I've been through brawls, I've been through ciphers, I've been jumped, I've done fuck people up, I did shows. You can go on YouTube now and see me in 92, rapping before Black Moon dropped with Buckshot and um, 5FT and Evil D watching me and my brother rap on stage before they dropped. Before, before Mob dropped, before Wu-Tang dropped. We was on stage in front of a whole black crowd and we got love. We bodied the shit. You know what I mean? So it's, you know, I say, listen, 
he might not be realizing, you know what I mean, that there's other dudes out there. He might be in his shell. Do a little, you know, like, and I, I say this with respect because I, I do got respect for what Brand Nubian did. You know what I mean? But I ain't no ass kisser either. You know what I mean? I ain't going to lick nobody's ass. I'm, I'm from the hood. In the hood, you, you respect or there's drama. So I'm saying have respect for the dudes that do get it in that are from other colors. And um, you know what I mean? Just be a little bit more intelligent, you know, in that. And, and, and But at the same time, Opinions are like assholes and everyone has one. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, like it don't affect me. You feel me? I'm chilling here right now with G-Rap. I make six figures a fucking year off digital. I don't even got to do a fucking show ever again if I didn't want to. Of course, obviously, you got to do shows. But you know what I'm saying? Like, what somebody thinks about me, yo, white, this and that, it's, come on, man. I looked at all the, the new black rappers that are coming up and none of them was feeling what was being said. You know what I mean? All of them was like, come on, man. Because we had a point where hip-hop already surpassed that whole you a white boy, you a wig of vanilla ice shit. You know what I mean? That shit is played, man. We still on that 80s shit right now? You know what I mean? Are we still on that? Like, come on, man. That's ignorance. I mean, we at the point where a lot of things done fucking changed. I mean, we got, you got a black president. You know what I mean? Like, we, you know, I'm not saying you can't be mad about shit going on in the hood and all that shit and, and, and fucking injustices. Right. But, you know what I mean? Like, like if, if, you know, I say punch Macklemore in his face for doing some faggot shit if you feel that strong about it. <laughs> and, you know, and, 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 I'll, and, I'll, uh, and I'll end the fucking comment with, I ain't a hater of Macklemore. You know, I don't like the homo dance, disco, you know, mixing that shit with the rap. That shit is garbage. But, you know, like his song about um, drinking, you know, like that, the cultural track, that was hot. I like that. I thought that was a gully song. So, you know what I mean? It's just not everybody like what everybody do. It's a lot of fans. The guy sold, what, about damn near 800,000 the first week. So, it's a lot of fans that like Drake singing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and I think I think that's all he gives a damn about. Yeah, I don't. Like, I, he's not signed to good music. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I look at two chains as my good good music brother. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I, yeah, here, I, I don't know. The, I don't know the uh, paperwork scenario of it. But I mean, we're all seasoned artists, man. 